An automation envelope is a visual representation of the automated change of a parameter over time. A common use, among others, is to automate the raising or lowering of a track's volume. Click on the button that looks like a graph to open track envelopes automation for a track. If you add sends or effects, they will also appear. Set mode to read, which will have faders and other elements move with the envelope. Now select volume. The shortcut to select volume is V, P for panning. Shift click to insert a point. Option click on a Mac, Alt click on Windows to delete a point. Command click on Mac, Control click on Windows to freehand draw points. To create points on the edges of a time selection, make a time selection, Command Shift on Mac, Control Shift on Windows, drag to insert. Mousing over a specific point, you get the Move tool. Drag to move, adding shift will temporarily disable snapping to grid. Mousing over an envelope segment allows you to move that isolated segment of the envelope in relationship to the points around it. Option shift on a Mac, Alt shift on Windows allows you to further isolate and move just those points. Option click on a Mac, Alt click on Windows while mousing over an envelope segment allows you to adjust the curve of that segment. Points themselves can be cut, copied, and pasted to new areas. Right-click, drag to select multiple points. Double-clicking on an empty space on the automation panel toggles between select all and unselect all points. Right-clicking on the automation lane and deselecting show envelope and lane will move the envelope to the same lane as your media items. Right-clicking on the envelope will allow you to move it back. Take envelopes allow you to create automation that is specific to that media item and will travel with it when you move it anywhere. To create them, double click on the media item and select Take Envelopes, then use all the methods you just learned. This is only touching on the basics of automation in Reaper. Be sure to explore the forms for more and, of course, read the manual.